Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. It's a very new lesson. Put the topic. Linear motion. Very big topic. Linear motion. Under that one, just uh, drop a uh, subtopic. That is a distance. Distance. Open a bracket and write the measuring unit in terms of meters m. <clears throat> distance m. Okay. Write the definition. The path of a path of an object is known as distance. Good example is you are just about to move from A to B. You can take multiple paths. One is like this. Other one is a straight line like this. Path X, Y, there are multiple directions. Okay, and next, Y and Z and Z as multiple directions. You can draw this. You can draw this and write. Did you copy this diagram? Draw it faster. You have only 20 seconds more. Now write it. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has only a magnitude and no direction. Now write displacement. That's also in meters. Displacement. Okay, guys. Just write this. Displacement. The shortest path between two points is displacement. The shortest path between two points is known as displacement. Oh, there is a professional definition that is called uh, the positional difference between two locations. You can write that one either. Okay, this is what called displacement. Now write another point. 
displacement is uh, displacement is uh, vector quantity so it has a direction specific direction as well as magnitude right now write the next subtopic speed unit is ms minus 1 it is like you cover certain distance you start up with time of 0 and you finish with time of t there is a thing called displacement speed so you have equation speed equals to distance over time but you have to write the definition first you write the definition the rate of change of distance first you write the definition the rate of change of distance uh, that is the one we used to know as the speed. Okay, the speed is what? The rate of change of distance. Now copy this diagram and after that just write the speed is a scalar quantity, the speed is a scalar quantity which has a specific, sorry, it has only a magnitude, no specific direction. Now just write velocity. It is also measured in ms minus 1. Starts at t equals to 0, finishes at t equals to t. Okay, guys. Here, velocity. Displacement over time. Right. The definition should be, you can write that definition. The rate of change of displacement. In the previous one, it is distance. Here it is displacement. You have to write it like the rate of change of displacement. Rate of change of displacement. Or in another way, you can also write it like displacement change the second op optional definition, there is an optional definition as well, second one. That is also something you should know. Just write the second definition for that. The displacement change per unit time. Displacement change per unit time. Can you just understand that? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Now just write. Velocity is a vector. Then I and the it has a magnitude direction. Now the next thing, very important thing, acceleration. That is the unit of ms minus 2. 
So let's write the definition for this one first. Can you tell me what is the definition of acceleration now? If you observe the sequence for the speed we had like the rate of change of distance. For the velocity we had the definition of rate of change of displacement. What is acceleration? Very important to know. The rate of change of velocity. Definitely correct. The rate of change of velocity. Velocity change per unit time. Another velocity change per unit time. Right. Now you can start this line up like this way. Have a good look at. You start it with the U velocity of U. You end your journey not ending. Actually, you consider like a certain point. And you consider at that point. So the difference is like from the starting. This is like initial velocity. Initial velocity. And this is final velocity. And time is like t equals to zero. Here you finish at the time of t. So what is acceleration? Your equation is acceleration equals to change of velocity over time taken. In symbols, we can write it like acceleration equals to delta V over time taken T. Okay, quickly copy these two. Now I was talking about something called change of velocity. We have to know what is that change of velocity as well to continue with this. And let's try to understand what is that change of velocity as well. Now write small subtopic change of velocity. Very small subtopic under main subtopic. Change of velocity. This will be really important in future lessons. So pay more attention to here. That is also measured in delta ms minus 1. So what is change of velocity, my dear? Change of velocity means the difference between final velocity and initial velocity. What is the meaning? The difference between Final velocity 
and NSL velocity. Uh, that is what we used to call as change of velocity. Right. This equals to what? Final velocity minus initial velocity. Final velocity minus initial velocity. Great. So we can just write this one as in the equation form. Delta V is equals to final velocity in terms of V, initial velocity in terms of U. I believe like you guys are high IQ. So I just mentioned without just explaining furthermore. I hope you understand. Can you just understand this? Yes, sir. Very good. Little one? Yes, sir. Now I'm going to include this one to the previous equation. Let's find out the acceleration. Acceleration is equals to Final velocity, initial velocity over time, time taken. So in terms of the symbols, V minus U over T, very, very important. Very, very, very important. Hari. <clears throat> now right. Another important subtopic, Amir, just write that point, acceleration is a vector quantity. After that, mean velocity. The next point is mean velocity. That is also measured in ms-1. 
write this in a new line. During an acceleration, or in a deceleration, open a bracket and write negative acceleration, negative acceleration, and close the bracket. During an acceleration, an object may change velocity from some value of u to certain value of v, from some value of u to certain value of v, certain value of v. So the object. is changing velocity time to time. But to interpret the type of motion it ex uh, shows, how to come up with a certain universal value in between from U to V. That is known as mean velocity from A to B. From A to B. Started with you and reach to there with V and the initial time is zero. Final time is time of T. It is under acceleration of A. And we have to know, I told you, it is moving under certain velocity of V mean. Why it is? If you scrutinize the details, Imagine like I go along with numerical values. Make a mama a pebabala set take a day again. Another day, low IQ set take a commonly got the low IQ, high IQ. They come in on okay. Low set take a target curl. I explain like this way like 10 ms minus 1. This is where I started. Here it finishes like 15 ms minus 1 as the final velocity. I just saw them like at this point it is like 11 ms minus 1. At this point it is like 12 ms minus 1. At this point it is like 13 ms minus 1. At this point it is 14 ms minus 1. Our time to time it changes. Finally reach to a value of 15. My problem is at here it is somewhere like 11.5, 12.5. So, if you say like the whole motion, the object moved at 10 ms minus 1. Is that true? Whole motion. Whole motion throughout, I would say like it has moved in 10 ms minus 1. Is that true and accurate? No, you can initially instantly see it is 12, 11, and here 12, 13, 14. It is not 10 at all. So I would like to say like it, it is 15 ms minus 1 here. It is not 15, it is 11, 12, changing. R is not 11, 10 either. It is not 15. So you have to come up with a certain kind of what? Reasonable value. So that value is mean velocity. Can you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, there is a simple way. There are two ways, but I will say the first way. Mean velocity is equals to initial velocity plus final velocity over 2 because it is like a subject. You have like your subjects, how many subjects you have? 
imagine like physics, chemistry, biology, physics, chemistry combined maths, physics, IT, maths, whatever combination, your average marks will be given like you get all three marks together, add them together and divide by three. Here there are two known variables. One is initial velocity of u and the other one is final velocity of v. So what you can do is you can add them together and divide by two and get the answer. Right, that's about mean velocity. So in terms of the equation, it is like this word equation. In the symbol wise, it has another way, u plus v over two. This is the way, understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Butta? Yes, sir. Okay. Copy this if you want. Done? Done or not? Okay, guys. Let's write it like this. Done, sir. Done, sir. Very good. Mm -hmm. A bit like in this manner. The next way, there are two ways to do, as I told you. The second way is, so you have to add the total displacement, mean velocity, sequence, total displacement over total time. Total means actually the only one displacement there, but for so. velocity over time, displacement over time. Why we use space, space sorry, S4 displacement instead of D? We use D for distance, but S4 displacement, the reason is. In Latin, we used to call it spatium. Spatium. Okay. Eva Terungan don't never get a manangati. While a Viswasa grander, Mum made it explain grander with Rakma, Patuna Groda Ganoa. You can get our Sakma Ganoa be regular twenty four twenty five bachelor. Apara the Agni is a national crime. I hope you understood well. Did you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's check your understanding level with a very simple question. Now, right, a boy start to move to north. A 
boy started to move to north and continued for some 300 meters continued for some 300 meters and instantly changed the direction to east instantly changed the direction to east and moved another 400 meters and stopped So actually in theory class, I asked this in four different questions. Still many of them couldn't do that. But I'm reducing this to two simple questions. That means the question will be really hard because you don't know the middle steps in all theory class. I just split it into four questions and let them to think because first one asked, the second half you can imagine, but they still couldn't. But now I am asking in complicated way. Now, right. The journey took 100 seconds to finish. Now the first question is, find out the speed. Number two, find out the velocity. Oh yeah. Now draw a relevant diagram and do. Better to draw. So in the first way, like I, I from them, I asked them like, what is distance? What is displacement? Then what is velocity? speed and one velocity? I only asked you the third and fourth from you, but for the first one and second one, I just cut off. But they had the clue, like firstly, how to find out distance and adding these two together and displacement. If you draw a diagram, they have how to understand uh, displacement is this part. So to get that, I have to apply Pythagoras. But from you, I didn't give anything, but you guys were really smart enough to find it out. The answer is like, Total displacement is distance is like 300 plus 400 altogether 700 meters. So the speed is equals to what? 700 over 100. It is 7 ms minus 1 for the speed factor. But in the terms of the velocity factor, have to apply like a Pythagoras theorem 400. So the uh, AC is equals to 300 square plus 400 square. So AC is equals to like 500 meters. So the velocity factor is displacement over time. Displacement is 500 meters over time of 100 seconds. Sorry, it is like 5 ms minus 1. Very simple one, but so can you imagine like the amount of time we wasted in regular classes? So these things are really, actually nothing, very simple. So shall we just quickly move on to another thing called equations of motion, shall we? Yes, sir. Okay. So right. The first one. We can derive it from acceleration equals to V minus U over T. We know that by rearranging this prox multiplying and rearranging, this becomes AT is equals to V minus U. So V is equals to U plus AT is the first equation number one. I hope you can understand. So here the terms V equals to final velocity. U is equals to initial velocity. A is equals to acceleration. T is equals to time. Okay. First one. Now to derive the second equation, copy this. I will give another 10 seconds only. I think we'd better go for a new site.
we know one thing mean velocity is equals to total distance over time taken what is the displacement then mean velocity into time we had this equation earlier no earlier the last equation i taught just before giving you a question we mean velocity equals to displacement over time so this equation is going to be my x factor now i have to find out what is this mean velocity again there is another mean velocity equation what is that mean velocity equation the second one u plus v over 2 time 2 this is what my y factor now i am going to insert y factor into first one x so my equation is going to be sc is equals to u plus v over 2 times t understood this is my second equation can you understand yes sir okay girl little one yes sir okay copy this copy this I can do a one very beautiful thing to this one. I hope you have done. I can substitute v of this by equation number one. What is equation number one? V equals to u plus a t. So I can substitute it in terms of this all together. V of here. Now what I'm going to do is s equals to in the equation u is there. Now v is going to be u plus a t another u plus a t over two times t. Now I'm about to expand the bracket. Before that, I have to solve the bracket in board mass method. Two u plus a t over two. Times t. So it is going to be like s equals to two u t plus a t square over two over two. Two and two cancel off. Finally, my equation becomes s equals to u t plus half. A T square. How many times have I done that? Third one, I did. Equation number three. So here in this equation, we know S is displacement. and here there is another extra factor extra factor is acceleration you also know that so can you understand this derivation let me know everybody yes sir yes sir okay very good copy this very quickly done right let's go for the next option substituting t 
of second equation from equation number one are uh, substituting time of equation number two from equation number one. What is my equation number two? u plus v over 2 times t. Here this t will be substituted by what? v equals to u plus a t. So time is going to be equals to v minus u over a. This is my z factor. So I am going to substitute this whole value into t. Now z equation number c into equation number 2. Let's see how it is going to be changing. S equals to u plus v over 2 times v minus u over a. Okay, guys. Now what can I do? I can cross multiply and get this one. 2as common factors not to two s and maybe a s damu two a s equals to v plus u times v minus u so can you remember very simple algebraical expression you have learnt in your all level x square minus y square difference between two square numbers you can write it like in factorization method, x plus y times x minus y. Can you remember this one? Now, considering of this result, v plus u and v minus u, isn't that resemblance to this one? v plus u and v minus u, isn't that resemblance to this result, the same result? Huh? This is the reversal of what? Factors between two square numbers. So it is going to be like V square minus U square, this whole expression. So I can bring this whole expression in terms of like this V square minus U square. Can you understand everybody? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I can write it like 2as equals to v square minus u square. And finally, it is going to be v square equals to u square plus 2as. Got you the point? Yes, sir. Say yes if you understand this. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Very good. So these are the four equations of motion. I hope you understood it very well. Well understood or halfway understood? Lamai? Understood Hello. well, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Huh? 
I'm um, asking like well understood though half understood. Understood well, sir. The little. Understood, sir. Okay. Do you believe that I took more than two hours to explain those four equations, especially the applications to that equation s equals u u plus v over two, and we bring it uh, numbers from the previous ones, and especially this part. I had to explain many times v minus plus u times v minus u thingy when I convert it to v square minus u square then I had to explain almost like three times to this. From next year onward I will have classes like this way. First one I will definitely categorize the fast track one year. Identify all the IQ ones together. High IQ, one thing to do. Then the low IQ regular class. If you want to do the same thing, you can do the same thing. 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 ready <laughs> I hope you understand this. So let's start up with the next one. Okay. So shall we do some questions? What do you questions? Okay, sir. Let me start. See your understanding capacity now. Mm. Stop it. Oh, shit. A body starts from rest and reaches a velocity of 5 meters per second after traveling with the uniform acceleration of 2 seconds. Calculate the acceleration. Okay. From rest, uh, what is the meaning of rest? Uh, that means velocity is 0. This is u. Started means u. And reaches mean or finished or reaches whatever means v. And the time is t, acceleration a equals to v minus u over t. The thinking pattern is whenever it says like started, that means the unit missile and the reaches so finished, that means the final. v is like 5 minus 0 over 2, it is like 2.5 ms minus 2. Did you understand this one? Hello guys, tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. My body starts rest uh, again u equals to zero, moves with uniform acceleration, the acceleration, and what is the velocity after five seconds? This is time, and you asked to find out v. v equals u plus at, there is an equation you just can apply simply. So v is u zero plus a is uh, two times t is like five. Final velocity is 10 ms minus one. Very simple. How far did it travel? So S equals to UT plus half AT square is the equation. U is 0 times 2. It is still 0. Half times. Uh, acceleration is 2 times T is uh, what is the time? 5 seconds. Yeah, it is 5 seconds. 5 to the power 2. That means I can write it like 5 times 5. 
This is 0, 0 plus 25 meters. Did you get this answer as 25? Yes, yes sir. Okay. When will it be 100 meter from a starting point? You know that u is 0. You can just write s equals to half 80 square. Why? Because u is 0. Now I'm going to apply 100 is the displacement and half times 2 times t to the power 2. 2 and 2 cancel of t to the power 2 is equal to 100. That means what? Whenever you get like this type of situation, you have to find out the time here. See, I would look at S equals to half. Sorry, 100 is equals to T square. T is equals to 10 seconds. Very simple. I hope you understand. Uh, I, mean, I forgot one thing. Just give me a one second, Lamai. I forgot to do one thing. Give me a one second. Uh, could you understand all of these? What I explained earlier? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes or no? Yes. Can't hear, man. You said yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. From you means it is, this is you. From four. And two means V. T means, S means, four seconds means time. How far does it travel in this time? So you have like initial velocity, final velocity and time, accel not acceleration mentioned. Here, no acceleration. Acceleration is not given. You would find this one. So, apart from, so what are the details you have to analyze this type of equation? You have to go for like here. S asking U given, V given, T given, acceleration not given. These are the five variables. Only four variables. So the second equation you have to choose like u plus v over 2 times t. Right. So in that sense, I'm going to apply the values to here. For the third one. 2 plus 20, sorry, 4 plus 20. 20 over 2 times 8. 4, 24 times 4 is... 96 meters. Did you get this answer? Did you get this yes, answer, sir. Amai? Yes, sir. A motorcycle is traveling at... This is you. Traveling at means at the beginning. Decelerate at 3. That means acceleration. How long does it take? Okay. Until it to become zero. We to become zero. That is the final most time. Acceleration equals to V minus U over T. So T is equals to V minus U over A. Zero minus uh, minus three is the acceleration and the sorry. U is twelve, sorry. 12, 12, 12, 12 over minus uh, 3. Answer is going to be 12 over 3 means 4, M, 4 seconds. It takes 4 seconds. Did you find that answer? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. How far does it travel to come to rest? Again, that equation. Uh, U is 12 times 4 minus half because it is deceleration 3 times 5 to the power to 48 minus 25 times 3 75 75 divided by 2 is 37.5 uh, it is going to be 10. 5 meters. Did you get this answer? 
මේ ආන්සේ කාවද හලෝ ඔය සෝරි ඉට් ඉස් 4 සෙකන්ඩ්ස් නෝ ඉට් ඉස් මයි බෑඩ් ඉට් ඉස් නොට් 10 ඉට් ඉස් නොට් 5 ඉට් ඉස් 4 සෙකන්ඩ්ස් වෙයිට් හාෆ් ලයිස් 3 ටයිම්ස් 4 ටයිම්ස් 4 2 ඉට් ඉස් ලයික් 6 6 ටයිම්ස් 4 24 48 මයිනස් 24 the answer will be 24 meters did you get this answer yes sir ट्रेवल Two hundred meters. Now the next one: a girl on a bicycle accelerates uniformly from rest to ten meters per second in a distance of fifty meters. Find her acceleration. So from rest, no, is like fifty is equals to u is zero. So half into acceleration. I don't know. So wait, no time is not given, so we can't apply this. There is another equation: v square equals to u square plus two a s. We have to apply to there. U is zero. Ten to the power two is equals to two times acceleration times fifty. So it is like hundred is equals to hundred a a is equals to one m s minus two. Could you understand this? It is a bicycle, can't have bigger acceleration, very small acceleration. Correct? Understand this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now yes. you can find out the time in this way. V equals to u plus a t. So v is something you know ten. So u you don't know zero. It is and in a is one times time is. Something you don't know. Time is also ten seconds. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the seventh one. A fighter plane lands on the deck of an airplane carrier which has a velocity of six sixty ms minus one, and it is brought to rest in two seconds by an arrestor wire. What is the acceleration? Have you ever seen this arrestor wire phenomena? Uh, so yeah. Um, like fifth one, ne ke B part te kar ta two hundred and ten meters ne. Two hundred and ten. Yeah. How? How? Like, uh, is it? ूज So uh, those fighter crafts can land on it, but the runway is not far too long. Very short runway, like hundred meter, even shorter than hundred meter. So when it landing, it you have to provide some extra way to uh, bring it to rest. So there are like hooks are there. It only appear when it landing. So there is a wire which is called the arrestor wire. 
set just on it. So what do they automatically do is these two wires are connected to here. So when it move forward, these arrestor wires are like flexible. Are it a flexible DNA? Then the arrest wire will just apply a really huge elastic force that brings the aerocraft to rest very sooner. So after this class, just uh, watch a video like in YouTube searching for aeroplane arrest wire thingy. So we'll see in your own mic, then you will understand everything. But to understand physics, you have to see the surrounding and your nature with your open mind as arrogant as you can do it. Now the seventh one, a fighter plane lands on a leg of 60 ms minus 1 and bow to rest is 2 seconds. What is the acceleration? A equals to V minus U over T. 0 minus uh, 60 over 2. It is 15 ms minus 2. Very big acceleration. Sorry, 30, 30. Minus 30. This minus 30 ms minus 2, that means 3G. Gravity acceleration. It's very hard to bear up for regular people. That's why they are fighters. How far does it travel in this time? UT is like 60 times 2 minus half times 30 times t square means 2 by 2. Cancel off. So it is like 120 minus 60. S will be 60 meter. It will still travel a 60 meter long distance on the deck. Okay. Now the eighth one. The tra train increases speed steadily from 10 meters per second to 20 meters per second in one minute. What is the average speed during this in meters per second? Uh, so how to find out? Average speed. So you know V mean is equal to 10 plus 20 over 2. It is going to be 15 meters per second as the average velocity or the speed. So the, they ask like the displacement travel, mean velocity multiplied by time. You found it like 15 and multiplied by the time is like 1 into 60. High parallel pahalo gamu lakunwa nuwai 900 meters. Understood? Gamai? Yes, sir. Okay. Little girl? Yes, sir. I will just turn off the recording for a while.